Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my channel. Today I'm very excited to share a quick and easy recipe with you for a miso crusted garlic bread. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So this recipe is more of a guide today. I'm going to show you some different ingredients that you can mix together to create your favorite garlic bread a spread and then apply it to any bread that you like as well. So sometimes if I'm feeling super lazy and I'm just making garlic bread for one, I'll just cut a bread roll in half and top it with some garlic spread, the miso spread, and then bake it up. Or other times I might have a French loaf on hand and I'll just cut that in a traditional garlic bread type of way where you just cut it three quarters of the way through and then you can put the spread in between that way. So totally up to you if you're just making some garlic bread for one person or if you're making it for a crowd as to the type of bread that you want to use. And if you didn't want to use bread, this is also really, really delicious to do on top of some boiled potatoes. So if you have some boiled potato, maybe keep it on hand and it's cooled down in the fridge for a few days and then just cut it into slices. And you can use this topping as well to make some miso crusted potato slices. So that is a delicious tip as well. So first up what I'm going to be using is some white miso paste I've got about a tablespoon of that just in a small bowl and then I've also got some garlic so about two cloves of crushed garlic oh and it smells so good I love fresh crushed garlic yum and then this can be as basic as you make this just mash this together but I'm going to actually add some tahini. I just like the taste of tahini. I like the texture that it gives this as well. It makes it a little bit easier to spread. Or you could always add a little bit of vegetable broth or some water, lemon juice. Just have a play around with some flavours that you like. And then create the spread that you're going to use. So I'm just going to mash this together. And then I'm just going to add just a little touch of water to this just to make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so my miso garlic spread is done. And then I've got a few extra toppings that I will show you in a minute as well. So I'm just going to get this spread onto the bread that I've got here. So like I said, I've got a bread roll that I've cut in half because today I'm just going to cook this in my air fryer but what you can do is just have all of your bread roll halves or your bread stick that you're cutting up put it all onto a baking tray and then just pop it in the oven and bake it that way but I'm just doing this for me today so I'm going to put this into my air fryer and if you don't know how to use an air fryer to your advantage it's absolutely one of my favorite gadgets my favorite kitchen gadget of all time and I've actually got a course that teaches you how to use an air fryer and just make some amazing recipes in there so if you do want to check that out have a look underneath I've left a link for you and it really does make cooking so quick and easy okay so I've spread this on here now and then all I'm going to do is pop it in my air fryer for about five minutes or until it's as crispy as I want it. But before I put it in there, I'm going to add a little sprinkle of some smoked paprika. And you can put any herbs and spices that you like. But I love that combination of the miso paste and the smoked paprika. It's just an absolute yummy combination. <laughs> and then a few chili flakes as well. I just like a little bit of chili kick. Sprinkle those on top and it's ready to cook up. It's just so easy. Very, very quick. All right, so I'm just going to put this in my air fryer, cook it up for five minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, what a happy sound that is. That means my garlic bread is ready to go. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. And it's gone nice and ooh, hot and crispy and crusty. And I'm going to have this with my lunch. Ooh, it is super, super hot. 
while I wait for that to cool down. If you love simple recipes like this and just want to have something plant-based that's quick and easy to make, then please subscribe to my channel because I make delicious recipes like this each and every week. And also join me in my Facebook group where we all share different recipes and things like this. What toppings would you add to this? How are you making your miso crusted garlic bread? I would love to see you over in the Facebook group. And I'll leave a link to that below as well so you can check that out. Come and join me. I'd love to see your photos and creations. Okay, so I'm going to just cut a bit of this off because it's really, really hot at the moment. But you can hear how crunchy that is. How delicious. Mmm. 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 Like I said, those flavours are just a really simple and delicious combination and it's great to serve if you've got people that come over unexpected guests and you serve some of this as little garlic bread toasties with some soup it's just a quick and easy meal that's going to keep everyone satisfied and happy and it's absolutely delicious so give this recipe a try if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i look forward to seeing you for the next recipe bye for now Mmm, -mm. it's so delicious.